comedy on the screen it's another look at the life of Infest 97P now upgraded to tropical cyclone status and welcome to another update from the Force of 13 Australia Oceania channel for Wednesday the 7th of March 2018 However, uh, just signing a, a breaking uh, news item, there's been a magnitude 6.7 earthquake, Papua New Guinea. Six decimal two degrees south, 142 decimal six degrees east. A tropical cyclone Holler, currently a Category 2 system, is about 96 nautical miles north of Port Vila, Vanuatu. Now here's a look at the floaters on the cyclone. Sea surface temperature is a very healthy 30 Celsius. And looks like Honor is now developing a microwave eye. Upper level analysis indicates that the vertical wind shear environment has improved substantially with strong divergent outflow. And we'll continue to develop further, or I should say, to favour development in the southeastern semi circle. Sea surface temperature remains conducive of at 30 Celsius as the uh, system tracks along the northwestern periphery of the steering ridge. The significantly improved environment is allowing for rapid intensification. After 36 hours, tropical cyclone Hono should peak at 125 knots. Now we have a look at the wind shear, the 24-hour shear tendency and the 850 millibar vorticity. And we also have Invest 98P up there in the southwestern southern region of the Gulf of Carpentaria. Upper level divergence remains uh, favourable for both systems. And here's the Fiji Met service chart. Well, I should say tropical cyclone track chart. They have it actually increasing the Cat 3 Joy Typhoon Warning Centre. Uh, Force 13 will go live in a couple of hours on the main channel. Uh, here's the centre's uh, updated track chart and you can definitely see that the entire New Caledonia region is now in the cone of uncertainty. And there's still a, a question of when Hora is expected to change direction. Now, tropical tidbits, uh, here's a couple of uh, tracks on the uh, cyclone. ECMWF, I think this is a spaghetti model. And you can see the odd blue outline bringing it in towards the Queensland case, but 
that is highly unlikely due to other weather factors. So another system uh, likely to head down towards New Zealand. And this is the UK Met. Now this one is slightly different. They have it tracking further towards New Caledonia and edging closer to the southern tip of New Caledonia. It's far too early to say what the cyclone is going to do. The Tropical Cyclone Formation Probability Guide uh, areas in addition to the cyclone is the eastern region out from Port Douglas right across into the Gulf of Carpentaria. We do have a monsoon trough and the Bureau is indicating a possible low to form uh, somewhere within the Cape York region and it should track into the Gulf of Carpentaria. Now here are the floaters on Invest 98P. The AU channel will continue to bring the latest uh, information And there is quite a bit of uh, material that we can use in our updates. So, in addition to 98P, Tropical Cyclone Honor, we could see a low form in the Coal Sea towards the uh, Solomon Island region. Sea service temperature for 98 is 30 up to 32 Celsius. And again, tropical tidbits, uh, a couple of tracks on Invest 98P. And considering that we're focusing on the uh, tropical uh, weather scene, uh, the local Australian uh, weather scene uh, continues to be of uh, interest. And uh, towards the end of this uh, update, we'll have a look at the uh, Bureau's uh, rainfall. And the entire coastal region of Queensland has a flood warning in place. Townsville right down to the Gold Coast including inside Harvey Bay and Morden Bay uh, waters. And a similar one for Thursday. And this is a live webcam looking North from Coolum Beach. This is available on the swellnet.com website. Now we look at the 12 hourly rainfall across the next five days. And keep an eye on the motion, the forward motion. You can see it tracking into uh, Northern Territory. We have an upper level low or trough that is tracking up along the uh, New South Wales northern uh, coastal region up into Queensland and will continue to track north.
and we could see the Bureau of Meteorology uh, issuing further severe weather warnings for heavy rain for Queensland uh, here's another look at the Troll Valley rainfall And again, the rainfall scale is on the right hand side of the screen and we're looking at the green through to dark blue. It's the Himawari 8 uh, satellite view. This is actually uh, zoomed in so we can focus on the cloud or the convection and then we switch across to the tropical cyclone Cat 2 Hotter. And as the Joint Typhoon Morning Centre has indicated, a microwave eye, total forecast of rain. And note the dark, the blue, dark blue through to red. So it's going to be the far north tropical coast, the eastern side of Cape York, and virtually the entire. Gulf. And please monitor the main channel. We will be going live in a couple of hours. You can follow Force 13's outlets. The website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.